three, two, one, go. Okay, Swagger, the most popular specification for REST APIs. So we're going to learn how I developed some skepticism when we first started moving from REST APIs from SOAP XML APIs and how Swagger has addressed many of the concerns I had, mainly that I couldn't auto-generate service proxies anymore. So let's look at 10 years ago, the world was mainly using SOAP XML APIs. Perhaps they required a few more bytes to download and they weren't designed out of the box to use with JavaScript. But the great thing about XML SOAP APIs were they were strongly typed and they came with a thing called a WSDL. What is a WSDL? WSDL stands for Web Service Description Language. It's an XML based interface language that is often used to describe the functionality offered by a web service. From a WSDL, you can auto generate client objects. So that means in Visual Studio, you might generate a service reference, previously known as a web reference. But the bottom line is, it's much oh. faster than manual coding when you can auto-generate a service reference to interact with. So over time, JSON REST APIs have generally replaced SOAP APIs as the dominant API type during the last five years. One reason people cite is they're lightweight, they use less bandwidth, so they can be faster. I would, however, argue that the main reason is they're simpler to learn and use. What's the problem with the JSON REST APIs? <coughs> No strong typing. We can't auto generate code from a JSON API alone, which means we have to code our own inputs and outputs of, um, that we send to the REST API. This makes it slower, it's more prone to error, and it's without a clear contract from the client server. So, what is Swagger? Swagger is a simple representation of your RESTful API. Swagger is one of the most popular specifications for REST APIs. Great. Name, order, and other details of the API. You can code a Swagger file by hand in a text editor, or you can auto-generate it for having annotations in your code. Swagger generates the client SDK code needed for implementations on various platforms, such as .NET, JavaScript, Scala, Python, PHP, many others. An SDK is a supportive tool that helps developers use the REST API. The client code helps developers integrate your API on a specific platform and provides the more robust implementations <coughs> It might include scaling, threading, and other necessary code. Swagger has a strong community. It's currently in version 2, and it's more <coughs> enabling than ever, and it's 100% open source software. So let's have a look at the Swagger components. So first of all, we start with a Swagger spec. Swagger spec provides a way to describe your API using a JSON schema that outlines the functionality offered by a web service. This includes information about the name, element nesting, order, and so on. <coughs> Swagger Editor is an online editor that validates XML <coughs> JSON formatted code. Swagger UI, this is a tool that transforms your Swagger spec into a navigable UI output. Very useful for exploring APIs. In fact, Andy was using this earlier when he was demonstrating the Plato API. Um, so instead of coding the Swagger file by hand, you can use automatic annotations in your program code. One NuGet package that helps us do this in .NET is, is called Swashbuckle. Um, there are also many other Swagger libraries for different code bases. And we can auto generate um, metadata in Visual Studio. Um, Azure uses Swagger. So, Swagger is also supported in Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform. Microsoft has released a new feature named Azure API wow. Apps. This feature raises the capabilities of ASP.NET a Web API. It also makes it possible to extend this feature with Swagger metadata while providing a simple to manage interface via the Azure portal. This is all available through ma a managed APIs, which is the feature it's called in Azure. So in conclusion, with a Swagger enabled API, you get interactive documentation, client SDK generation, many of the features you used to get with list of <coughs> These were the features that I find lacking with REST APIs. So great job, Swagger. And that is how.